good morning to everyone i hope you guys are having a good week um it has definitely been crazy weather so far so um in a previous vlog you saw that we got a bunch of snow um to where we had to use the snow blower and i also helped out my husband shoveling a little bit well i think we got a total of about six to maybe almost seven inches and woke up this morning and we had it all cleared up um woke up this morning and i'd say maybe we got about 0.5 inches um of snow so i think i'm going to it looks like it's slowing down it was snowing this morning earlier but now i think it's about to stop so i just got the little ones down for their nappies um i think i'm going to grab the monitor and do some shoveling real quick i'm not going to do the whole driveway because i don't want to be out that long but i'm going to shovel a little bit and then finish cleaning up i've done a lot already this morning uh the kitchen and dining and gonna clean up the living area as well um but i think i'm gonna take it easy today besides the shoveling um i've got one parcel coming in today so i will do that unboxing for you or with you guys and then i'm very excited to say that well i'm gonna be honest um i uh, with four kids i have a huge to-do list with the family with the vlogging the house just everything my to-do list is so long to where i can't remember it all in my head and i've tried putting lists on my phone uh through an app but I don't do well looking at my phone, honestly. Like, I get on there for Instagram um, and Facebook sometimes, but for some reason, whenever I have a to-do list on my phone and I go on there, I can just easily turn my phone off or put it to sleep, whatever, you, whatever when it goes black. Um, and then I don't see my list again. So I remember when I was a kid, um, at school we had to have planners they made you write and then they made you check off your to-do list um, that was what it was like for me growing up and I was always really good at I did everything when it needed done I had it done sometimes I did things early checked it off just so I had done I didn't have to think about it or stress about it um, so that was how I that's just how I was. Um, whereas now I have four kids, I have this, um, still doing photography when I can, uh, the house and everything. I finally said to myself, I need to get a planner or a gender book um, and get back to that because that's, I used to be good at, good with it and I need to get back with it. So. I finally got online and went through some companies and stuff like that. I also saw some on Instagram and found one that I like and got it ordered. So now I'm anxious and nervous because I haven't had planners since elementary years and I really hope I stick with it. I write what I need to do, carry it around with me, check to the to-do list off and hopefully it will make life easier, which I'm pretty certain it will. I'm very motivated and, like I said, excited to get started with the journal or the agenda books. So uh, when that arrives, I definitely will do the unboxing with you guys and show you what it is and the company and um, just really ex anxious to get it. I'm really excited for it to ship and be delivered. Um, and then, like I said, I have one parcel arriving today. Um, I will open, do the unboxing with you on that one. Uh, it's just a note to item, basically. And then, we'll see how the rest of the day goes, because I want to relax, but I also want to be productive at the same time. So, not too lots I need to do. I'm trying to keep a good routine of keeping things clean and tidy, put things where they need to belong when you're done with them. And luckily, my littles are getting better at when they're done playing with something, they put it back. Used to, well, all like to this morning. I let it slide this morning because they were just both of the, both tired, really tired and zonked. But we left a lot out this morning, so I'll have them tidy it up after the naps because they'll be awake, they'll have the energy, and 
it'll be good for them. So, all right, I need to get moving. Um, I'm going to get ready to snow shovel. I don't have, um, I don't really have winter boots. Um, I just haven't bought any so long because we don't always have a big winter. So give me just a minute. Okay, so hopefully, hold on. There we go, that might help. Yeah. Okay, so um, hopefully you can see me. I know it's a bit dark, let me try. There we go. Okay, so hopefully you can see me really well. I'm going to move this just a little bit closer. There we go. I've got you guys set on uh, the cat stairs. That seems to be a really good spot. But anyways, um, I just got this from the garage and they are a bit dirty, I'm afraid, but they will do. So we, my husband loves the company Vivo Barefoot. Um, really good for your feet. I understand. I mean, you'd have to go to their website and read what their, how they make their shoes and why. Um, but I do like them. I have a couple of pairs. My husband has a good collection of them. But anyways, these are discontinued, but tall boots that I use for in the snow um, or rain. They, I think, I don't know about back here because it doesn't feel like it would, but on the foot part, I'd say this is almost waterproof. Like, you step in the puddle, you don't feel it. The one thing I love about these boots that I have worn in the snow before, my feet stay warm. And I mean really warm. My feet stay warm. They don't get cold. Um, so I really, rec I honestly would recommend these boots. But again, I'm sorry to say, they are discontinued. But sometimes they do launch a new pair um, tall boots in the women's department um, and if they do maybe give it a try um, if you don't like the shoes you order you know you can, you can return them but I definitely would recommend these and then they also have tennis shoes sandals some nice shoes they do sell kids shoes if you have little ones um, toddlers kids and then big kids or teenagers um, but yeah Again, sorry to say these are dirty, but I will be wearing these um, in just a minute to go out and get snow shoveling. Um, because the boots I'm wearing right now, honestly, are these old Uggs, which were my wedding boots. Um, these are not waterproof. Not in any way. They were bright silver, really nice. I think I got this way before Frozen the movie, Disney movie Frozen, came out. And then when it did, um, they relaunched these again, calling, calling them the Disney Frozen Arendelle Classic Boot, which I thought was funny because when I bought these, they were not called that. I don't remember what these were called, but it wasn't anything Disney Frozen related, so. But these are getting old looking now. Like I said, they're not bright silver anymore and I'm really surprised and happy that the jewel is still there. This is, I don't know if you can see, but it has a little strap there, but it stays there. Um, the inside, I still have the soft stuff on the inside. It hadn't come off. Now I do have an old pair of Uggs Classic in Chestnut. Well, I did, um, but I had those for about 10 years and the soft stuff on the inside did come out or rub off and so my husband was like okay do you want to try to find some of that faux fur stuff from a store and re-sew it on the inside and do this and I'm just thinking no I do not want to go through all that um, even the exterior of the boot was just not in great shape so I will admit I threw them away they they were dead they were just pretty much dead and so I did throw them away. I thought there was no way we could salvage them. Resew, even if we try resewing that inside stuff, um, I don't think if I donated them, someone would actually grab them. It's hard telling, it really is hard telling. I don't know. But anyways, I still have these pair that I'm wearing and in time, I might get another pair, I'm not sure. I'm looking at other brands now um, to replace, but we'll see, so. 
All right, I have got to get moving. Time is ticking, it's not stop sadly. Um, I am wearing today's outfit. It's just a plain white tee. And then I've got the Holland Cooper Studio zip up top. Um, it says uh, Holland or HC Studio on the back. And then the zipper, hopefully you can see up close. Focus, focus, yes. So the zip up has HC Studio on it and you've got the little logo there. Like I said, it has the little logo there, so. All right, um, I need to get moving and yeah, so I will get done and then get back with you guys. Okay, so normally I don't, I would not show this to you guys how I look after I'm done. I just took my gloves off and my hat, have a hood on, but anyways, I'm tired. Um, I wore my Sorel uh, Parker. I think it's called a Parker Parker. I'm not sure, but I don't think they sell these anymore. Um, we just remember how a lot of things I have are get discontinued not long after I get them. But anyways, um, just thought I'd show you the Parker. I apologize, my nose is running. Oh, I don't want a snappy nose. Oh my goodness. It is so cold outside, guys. My cheeks are frozen. I have it done there. So I wore a coat, and that's pretty much it. I mean, I've got my boots, my coat, I had a hat on, and that was it. But believe me, my upper body, this area, toasty warm. It did not get cold in any way. This is thick, I will admit. Um, it is very thick. Um, but it does the trick, it keeps you warm. When I'm going out to a restaurant for dinner or lunch, whatever, um, or getting groceries, um, well, no, mainly go out to eat. But anyways, when I go out for short outings, I'm not gonna be outside for a long time, I don't wear this because it is a pain to just plop right next to you in the car or see if you're going to a restaurant. Um, it's just too big. I don't mind taking this, so I take a different jacket. But if I'm out shoveling or I'm going to be out for an hour or so, then I would recommend getting something like this, nice and big, fluffy, or just something that you know is going to keep you warm. And this is what keeps you warm. So being out there for about an hour, actually about an hour and 40 minutes, really. Um, being out there for a while, it kept me warm. So I got the job done. I got the driveway shovels and I put the ice melt stuff on, excuse me, and now I need to clean up a bit, get my dirty shoes off, get all cozy again, and then get started on lunch, so yeah. Okay guys, I just got my snuggly boots back on and got my hair brush because believe me, it was very much tangle the knots from the hat and the hood and moving around so much um but I thought I'd go on here real quickly and let you know that I've got hair brushed got cozy boots back on washed my hands because when you're messing with ice melt it just I didn't use my thing, hands to spread them out but still the bucket I was using was really dirty so I wanted to get my hands washed and moisturized because in the winter time you have to keep your hands moisturized so I use, um, and it smells incredible, and I think it does a really good job, honestly. The J. Malone Peony and Blush Suede Body Cream. I know they do have, they do sell hand lotion, but I love the body cream because it, I think it does a really good job keeping your um, hands moisturized. So I use that practically every day. So I just thought I'd share that with you real quickly. Um, I am going to make lunch. And then I need to clean up a little bit more. But other than that, I think I did the rough work and got that done today. So, and then I need to get back and edit some more vlogs, um, answer a couple messages and emails. And then see what else the day brings. So, all right. Okay, it is very nippy outside, but I thought I'd show you my work. It's very salty. Uh, so I shoveled all that, put down ice melt, which you can see starting to work. 
I put on spots that was just solid ice because I don't want to slide or have my tires make it worse when I drive. But so yeah, looks pretty good. Got the sidewalk done. Got my boots. <laughs> but yeah, we still have lots of snow. Let's say, like I said, it's melting a little bit, but not much. Um, but yeah, and we've got my poor lavender bushes. I didn't prune them, I forgot. So. Hi guys, so I've got the te te telly on. Um, so sorry if you can hear that in the background, but I thought I would share with you what I'm making for lunch for me and the little two because they have been working so hard this week just helping keep the house clean as well, keeping their toys cleaned up. <laughs> and so they've just been absolutely amazing. So I decided to reward them with a pretty nice, uh oh, hold on for a second. So I decided to reward them with really nice lunch that I got a great deal on. So give me just a moment. Okay, so I am making, hold on, hopefully you'll focus. There we go. I'm making lobster. The instructions actually say to boil, not steam. So I'm doing what the directions say. Um, so I'm going to boil that. And then I'm also going to, I've got the oven preheating. I'm going to add and make some rolls. Uh, we absolutely love this brand, um, Sister Sister Sherbet's Yeast Wolves. Um, so we're going to make some of these, and I've got some gluten-free rolls. I'm going to make two for the one that's uh, gluten sensitive. But yeah, thought I'd share with you our lunch. Um, I need to bring them down and start an activity with them and have a lunch and yeah go from there but i just i i just thought i'd share with you what we're having so and i don't remember what pot what brand this pot is but we're actually going to get some new cookware um just haven't decided what brand or what kind what all do i need and stuff like that so all right bye 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 lobster yum 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 Okay, so I just got the lobster put here, the rolls are done and over here. So I'm gonna quickly uh, kind of show you how I dismantle a lobster and prep my kids' plates. Um, um, I've got the drinks already put up at the table, but I gotta show you my my drink I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have a seed boost, Bald House Farms. Uh, it's just extra vitamin C, so. It's got seven and a half pears, three apples, two one third mangoes, and 61 cherries, apparently. Um, but I'm trying to really help increase my vitamin C. I think that's going to help given with everything going on and possibly if I ever got COVID, um, which I haven't, thank goodness. Um, I think I am a believer that I think vitamin C, more of it in your system would help you get over it quicker. I'm not saying it's going to keep you from not getting it, but if you do, I think it will help you get over it quicker. Um, so I'm going to have a good glass of this. And I did shake it earlier, so it's supposed to. I'm going to get more than that. There you go. I'm going to do a full glass. Almost a full glass of that. So that's my drink. Got the lobster here, it's very hot. And um, so we've got lobster, two claws. I'm going to do this one first. Um, I'm going to leave the rubber bands on. So I use, I don't have cracker, clackers, or they're supposed to be called. I don't remember what they're called, but I don't have this. So honestly, I use a hammer. Use a hammer. That's how I get help get the meat out. So on the shell only, and then I use a fork to get the meat out. That way the disgusting jammy hammer doesn't touch the meat. So I'm going to use one of our kids forks to get the meat because it's a bit smaller, a bit thin, should be easier to get the meat out. So. Okay, got that. Oh, I need to get my plate. The white one. Okay. All right. So, uh, I'm going to try get 
this. So kind of let's do the other side. Goodness, this guy's got a hard shell. goodness meat is going all over the place so I'm gonna put some there there we go got some of this Ugh, broken up enough to get the meat out um looks like it's going to be a bit overcooked which is okay I should have taken the rubber bands off oh well some meat there Try to pull this out. I think it's just going to be too. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> mm. That's pretty good. So I'm going to work on that one and get the rest of me out of that on. But I'm going to try to get as much as I can. So I need to hurry and get them down because they're hungry. I'm sure they're hungry at least. Actually, what I should do, and no, I've got an idea. I should put the rolls back in the oven to keep warm. Yeah, it's not too cold, so I'm gonna do that real quick. Okay, it's off. I'm just going to have them stay warm in there because this is going to take time. I am going to turn off the camera because, like I said, I think it's going to take longer than I'm wanting to or that I thought it would take. So, give me just a moment and I'll get that out and I'm going to turn it off. So. Hey guys, okay, so, um,. I'm so tired. Um, lunch went really well. Um, they liked the lobster and the rolls. Um, so we ate, we played, we did crafts, a couple activities, and then we had to go pick up the elder two from school. Got back. Um, right now the little two are taking their naps, and the big two are doing their homework and chores. So I've got a little bit of time to spare. Uh, with you guys, my parcel came in the mail. Um, which I'm really excited to open with you and again. It's just another decor kind of piece, but I think I'll go ahead and show with you another mini Amazon unboxing. So let me just a moment. Oh, this is it. Um, so, anyways. I forgot to mention, when we got home and everyone started doing what they need to do, I actually went and grabbed the shovel because it started snowing again and shoveled the snow off the driveway and um, put some ice melt down because it's still snowing and I think it's going to stop real soon but I wanted to make sure it was that it didn't turn into water or anything or ice and become too much for the snow blower. So I'm that's that's why I'm really tired. Um, my arms are gonna be really sore tomorrow. But anyways, um, and it's just an old shirt. I think the company is called Bees and Something Company. I can't remember what company, but I will put the link in the description box below. Where I got the shirt, it says Mama Bird on it. Um, they have baby bird onesies and shirts for children. Um, and a couple other shirts, but. That's where I got it from. Um, like I said, I will put the link in the description box below where I got it from. So, let's get this pasta open. This is heavy. 
So this is a Tom Ford book, a coffee table book, but it's really big and it's really heavy. Um, I got this for decoration, but also I think it would be neat to kind of like look through once in a while. So I will get this open to show you. This is actually a box, like a cover box, so or a protected box. So I will get this open just a moment and get the book out and then I need to figure out where I'm going to put this because I had an idea place and then I thought of a problem why I can't put it there so I need to find another place for it I'm not going to return it because it is just way too it's definitely me I love coffee table books especially designer brand coffee table books and then you have on the binding of the box Woo! there we go so here's the binding, or I think they call the neck. Um, so anyways, let me get it out of the box. Oh wow, that is so heavy. Okay. All right, so you have the front and then the back of the book. Um, I will try to show you a couple of pieces. Really nice art. I do like the brands, uh, the company Tom Ford. I, I'm gonna get a couple fragrances and possibly a bag from them sometime in the future. But um, I really like the design. Um, so I, that was one of the reasons why I really wanted to get the coffee table book. Oh. I guess that, guys, this is really heavy. So, all right, I better get going. Um, I'm not sure how the rest of the day is going to go. I've got a lot of editing I need to do, and then the evening is going to be really busy. I have to run some errands. Um, so, in case I don't get back with you guys, I will go ahead and say thank you for watching this vlog. Hopefully, you like them, and click like and subscribe. And I will see you next week on uh, Tuesday. So, um, like I said, I might take you with me on my errands this evening, but I'm not really sure. Well, I don't know how the evening is going to go, so... Especially if it keeps snowing. Hopefully the snow will stop because, believe me, like I said, my arms are really sore from shoveling and I could use a nap. <laughs> so, alright. Have a good week.